One of the biggest struggles that we face in all aspects of our lives is finding the motivation to keep doing what we're doing. At work, in the bedroom, at the gym, your diet. But one thing that we all fail to take into account are your emotions. Emotions and finding motivations to do things are so tightly wound up that you must take into account how you feel in order to try to motivate yourself. I'm going to show you three methods in which you can take your feelings and emotions into account in order to find the motivation to accomplish anything you want in your life. Method number one, get positive. Research shows that optimistic people are more productive. Now, a lot of us procrastinate mostly when we're in a bad mood and we use it as a temporary solution to bring up our mood, much like drugs, cigarettes and alcohol. So if you find yourself procrastinating, you gotta change your mindset and get optimistic. Now, it's not that easy. Here's one method, measure your progress. Seeing incremental results in that you're going in the right direction will increase your mood. What could make you happier than knowing that whatever you're doing is working and is bringing you in the right direction? Method number two, reward yourself. Now I'm not talking about getting a smoothie or a Big Mac right after a workout, but maybe go out and buy yourself a pair of shoes after the perfect week of eating healthy and working out. Rewards work for all of us. They work for your dog and they will also work for you. Now here's a big motivator as a reward. Give your buddy $100 and tell him, give me back the 100 bucks if I meet my goals at the end of the week. And trust me, after you do that, things will get very emotional. Method number three, get peer pressure. Now I'm not talking about doing things out of guilt or pressure or staying accountable, but really if you associate yourself with a group of people with like-minded goals, they will affect you in a positive way. If you feel like getting into shape, find yourself a group of people who also want to get into shape. Join a chat group, join a community center, join a forum of like-minded people. Research shows that who you surround yourself with has a very big influence on who you are and who you want to become. So if you want to be successful, hang around with people who are already successful or who have the same goal in mind. If you want to be fit, you need to hang around fit people. It's as easy as that. It all starts on how you perceive yourself. You must think of yourself as an optimistic, productive person, even if you're really not. That change in the way you think about yourself is going to affect your feelings and emotion. And as we know, that's the first step in becoming motivated.